All right, guys, I need to, I haven't done a video in a long time. Um, I'm a designer, a CAD designer, and so I've been working seven days a week for the past two or three months now. Um, so I just got a chance to do a video. I bought a old Volkswagen GTI that I'm just going to use to drive when I'm not driving my truck. And it's got the uh, typical list of things wrong with it, sunroofs leaks, um, just all of it. Heater core, in this case, this headlight switch isn't working, uh, I got a turn indicator gremlin, um, exhaust rattles, someone didn't adjust the shift linkage right, all the, do all the stuff, all the stuff, so... Um, I got it for like uh, 1700 bucks. just going to fix it up as a daily driver and drive it around. So I thought I'd make a video of replacing the headlight switch. It's pretty straightforward. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to want a short stubby screwdriver. And um, let me make sure this... Hold on, guys. Make sure the uh, lens is clean. I want that AF back autofocus. Uh, anyways, short stubby screwdriver, and what you should be pulling out of these, there's um, one, two, three screws up here. You should be pulling out a little Phillips screw with a built-in washer. Now, when uh, you because people don't take care of these, you'll find everything under the sun, including no hardware at all. And then. There's two more screws on the bottom here where, um, let me make sure you guys can see it. Um, yeah, you can. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty close here. Let me clip you guys out. So right here, um, you're going to find two screws that... Uh, AF... Let's try that again. You'll find two screws that hopefully look like that, and they go um, right up under the corners here, here and here. And those are going to be a seven millimeter. That's what they should be. Again, you're gonna have built-in washers with your screw. Hopefully that's what you find in there. Those are the original hardware. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to pull this dash out, get it loose here. Mine's a California car, so it has AC. Um, and a bunch of emissions crap. And then you're going to want to pull this lip. You're going to want to flex that lip down because it'll catch otherwise. And you'll get that. You'll pull your headlight switch all the way out. You get this flexed. And then what you're going to do, when you get that loose, you're going to reach your hand back in here, and there's a button on the bottom. Here, I have one. Here's the one I'm going to replace it with. There's a, This thing is sitting in there like, like this. And you push up on this button right here. You push up, and it lets the um, lights, light uh, post out. So I'm going to, I'm going to, hold on, how to do this. So I reach in there with my middle finger, push up on it, and then it just comes right out. All right, hold on. So there's my switch right there. I'm going to put you guys on hold. Get a pair of vice grips like this or anything that you won't slip. I'm going to be extremely careful and not mess this up. And I'm going to turn it just enough where it starts to get loose. And then I should be able to turn it by hand. They come off really easy. Should come off really easy, I should say. So you're going to pull that out. Once that's out, you should be able to slip the light in between your dash and your belt and your 
Hold on. So you should be able to slip it in between like this. And you're just going to have to be careful. Um, mine's catching a little bit. Very, very careful. So then there's a clip. Be careful that you don't break them. They're old and fragile. There's a clip on this side and there's a clip on this side and they'll need to be very carefully pried out with a screwdriver. I'll probably use a second screwdriver to pry up on the actual fitting itself because I don't want to break them. So I got to go grab some flatheads and I'll be back. So I'm going to attempt to not bust this. Um, Kind of hard to do with the camera in the way here. We'll see if it'll just slip right off. careful because these are so easy to break and try as you can I do I may still bust it whoa that one's hot Okay, there's the front, and now the back. All right, good deal. A little bit of prying, a little bit of being careful. It's off. <clears throat> All right. I don't see anything firsthand, any kind of burnt connector or anything. This whole time watching me do this, it's funny. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn you guys off for a second, do a little testing. Now that uh, these two screws are broke. So I'm going to have to replace this whole setup because these are broke and some dingleberry put uh, some sweet ass washers in there to try to fix it. So that's something I'm going to be searching around junkyard style for. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put the dash back together. Mm. Getting awfully dark. Um, I've only got two of these actually, these dash screws and... I'm going to guess that one's stripped, or no, maybe not, no, not stripped, 
drives me crazy that people couldn't uh, keep track of screws on these things. I've got some hokey Pinocchi long one here that some dippy tried to put in. I'm going to find a replacement for that. i got enough extra cars floating around and I'll, I'll find one. So, anyways, that's the long and the short of it. Um, I'll stick my... Stick this control back in here. Come on, catch. And lights work, they're dismal. I'm gonna have to uh, get it and replace them with some LEDs. I've done it before in the past, so I'll get in there and make it shine like it's supposed to. But, uh, and then the last thing I forgot to mention, which, uh, is there screws on there? No, you know what? There's not even screws on mine. This panel piece here goes underneath. Screws go in those holes. That part slips through. Uh, I can show you real quick. I'm going to pull you guys out. Sorry for moving this all over. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, can I even oh, try that again? So, you guys can barely see it, but right here, there's a clip. Let's see, wait a minute, hold on a sec. Anyways, guys, so you just slip it on that clip there, and then uh, below that down here are two screws, which I don't even have. Um, I'm going to have to find some. I'm going to try to look up on one of my other cars what they actually take. So That's all to say the lights are done for now. Um, hopefully I'll get some more videos out to you guys. I've got a ton of them waiting in. They're in the queue. Um, I've got a drill sharpener video coming up and a blade sharpening video and a bunch of solid work stuff. So. And I'll start doing videos on this and all kinds of stuff. Got the Mustang going back together here soon. Uh, something happened to the truck, so I'll do a video on whatever the hell that is. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope it helps someone out there uh, replacing your rabbit light switch. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks.